All right, so we're going to do a lesson, or basically a summary, of linear equations. So let's look at our first problem. Now you're asked to graph y equals 2 thirds x minus 4 here. Notice this is in slope-intercept form. That's that y equals mx plus b form. Now normally what we do when we graph these is we're going to start with the y-intercept. Well, remember, um, the y-intercept is just this value here. Now, y-intercept always has an x value of 0, so the y-intercept is going to be 0, negative 4. And then we need to find the slope. Well, that's just m, which here is 2 thirds. So now we can easily graph this line using the y-intercept and the slope. Let's first put in the y-intercept, and then remember slope is rise over run. So we're going to go up 2, or rise 2, and we're going to run 3. So we went up 2 and right 3. Since it was a positive 2, we rose, we went up. And since it was a positive run of 3, we went right 3. And so finally, well, that puts you at the point 3, negative 2. But then you can go ahead and draw the line. And so that would be the graph of that equation, y equals 2 thirds x minus 4. And I would remind you that any point on this graph is actually a solution to this equation, y equals 2 thirds x minus 4. If you plug in the x and y value from any point on this graph, it'll make that equation true. Let's look at another problem. So number two, we've got to find the intercepts. Now, first of all, I want you to notice that this equation is in what we call the standard form of a linear equation. And remember, that's the ax plus by equals c form. So notice here a is 3, b is 6, and c is 12. So this is in standard, standard form. And Often, this is the form that we, that we have when we find the intercepts. So normally, I like to make a little chart. And of course, to find the intercepts, you're either letting x be 0 or y be 0. So when we let x be 0, we're going to find the y-intercept. Now basically, if we let x be 0, this part zeroes out. And you're left with 6y equals 12 and so you get y equals 2. So in this equation, when we let x be 0, we get y equals 2. Now let's uh, find our other intercepts. So let me go back here and let's see. I want to erase that. So this time, we want to let y be 0. Well, let's see. I need to move this forward here. Let's put in our stuff that we did before. Oh, there we go. OK, so y is 0. So if we let y be 0, that means this time, We're going to get this part to zero out. 6 times 0 is 0. And we're going to be left with the equation 3x equals 12. And in this problem, or this equation we solve, we get 4. So 4, 0 is your x-intercept. So let's go ahead and put those in. Oh boy, I'm making some mistakes here. So there's... 4, 0, and 0, 2. We draw the line through there, and we got our, our line. Let's move on to the next problem. Number 3, find the slope of the line. So we got a nice looking line there. Now, we know that the slope of a line, one way to look at it is its rise over the run, or you could call it the change of y over the change in x. Now, I know you can 
really start at either point. I usually work left to right. So if you start at the left point, your rise, you're going down to, and so your rise is going to be negative 2. And then we're going to have to go to the right. It looks like 4, and so our run is 4 since we went to the right. And of course you always want to simplify your answer, and here you get negative 1 half. Let's move to the next problem. Here you're asked to graph 3x plus 2y equals 8. Now this one, this equation is also in standard form. You could find the intercepts, but I'd say it's probably a better idea to just solve this one for y and put it in slope-intercept form, although you really could use either method. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to have to get rid of that 3x term. We'll have to subtract 3x on both sides. And now to get that 2 out of there, we're going to have to divide both sides by 2. So we're going to get y equals, let's see, we can put the negative 3x over 2 and the 8 over 2, and then we simplify that, we get negative 3 halves x plus 4. So our y-intercept is 4, so let's put that on. And our slope is negative 3 halves, so we're going to go down 3. And since we have a positive 2, our run is 2, we'll go right 2. And then finally, let's connect our dots, and there's our graph. So again, any point on this line, if you take its x and y value and you plug it into this equation, it makes the equation true. In fact, we know there's infinitely many solutions to a linear equation. Let's move on to the last problem. Here you got a graph what we sometimes refer to as the two special cases, x equals 2 and y equals negative 3. Now you got to think about what kind of line you're going to get here. x equals 2, well we know x equals 2 right here, and so it's going to be a vertical line that goes through that point. And I would ask you to think about the slope. What is the slope of that line? So we said it's a vertical line, and the slope would be undefined here. What about y equals negative 3? Well, that's going to be a horizontal line. So let's draw that one. Notice that one goes through the point or where y is equal to negative 3. So again, this is a horizontal line. What about its slope? Hopefully you're saying, oh yeah, that one's 0, because horizontal lines always have a slope of 0. Well, that is it for this summary. We are done. The end.